where I actually evaluate the integral from 1 to infinity for the function 13 over 8x times x plus 1 dx. So here again we have an improper integral type 1. So the first thing I'll do here is I'll take our coefficient 13 eighths and I'll pull that in front of the integral operator. The next thing I'll do is I'll use partial fractions and I'll rewrite 1 over x times the quantity x plus 1 as a sum and difference of terms. So we have 13 over 8 times the integral from 1 to infinity. For 1 over x minus 1 over x plus 1 minus 1 over x plus 1 quantity square dx. Since we have an infinite limit, I'll now involve the limit as b approaches infinity and I'll change our infinite limit. So we have 13 over 8 times the limit as b approaches infinity for the integral from 1 to b for the function 1 over x minus 1 over x plus 1 minus 1 over x plus 1 quantity square now I'll find the integral for all three terms so we have 13 over 8 times the limit as b approaches infinity the integral of 1 over x is ln x the integral of negative 1 over x plus 1 is negative natural log of x plus 1 the integral of 1 over x plus 1 square gives us 1 over x plus 1 and we're evaluating that from 1 to b. The next thing I'll do is use the fundamental theorem of calculus so we have 13 over 8 I'll substitute in B so I'll carry my limit so this is times the limit as B approaches infinity for the natural log of B minus the natural log of B plus 1 plus 1 over B plus 1 minus and I'll substitute in 1 for x and I'll also put this in a set of parentheses so we have the natural log of 1 minus the natural log of 2 plus 1 half If we evaluate our limit here, it approaches 0. So we have 13 over 8 times a negative natural log of 1 minus natural log of 2 plus a half. And once you simplify this on your calculator, you should get 0 0.314.